motorway uh, uses technology to maximise the number of lanes that are available to the travelling public by implementing variable speed limits. Uh, the speed of the traffic can be reduced uh, to allow maximum traffic flow. When we uh, complete the scheme, uh, there'll be variable uh, speed limits on there and very intelligent traffic monitoring systems that will be able to observe and react to the incidents that may occur on the network, whether that be traffic queues or, uh, or traffic collisions. So it'll really enable members of the public to make informed decisions about which areas of the motorway network to use in this region. The project has CCTV coverage, uh, permanent CCTV coverage, that allows the network to be monitored by the local regional control centre. This allows real-time information to be passed uh, to the control centre, who can then advise and set the signals, so the mandatory speed limits or the big overhead gantry signals. One of the uh, biggest challenges we've got on the project is the scale of the, uh, of the, of the project itself, in terms of it being 28.5 kilometres long, um, with a very large number of junctions and motorway interchanges. There are actually three motorways that interact with the M60 and the M62 uh, within our section of the works, and they're all extremely busy uh, commuter routes. Uh, aside from the engineering challenges we face every day, our primary function is to keep Greater Manchester running uh, around the M60 and M62 road network. We've got a very large number uh, of cars that travel through uh, the scheme every day, uh, in the region of 180,000. And there are 21,000 or so residents who live immediately adjacent to the project and some very, very large stakeholders who, uh, whose livelihood depends on us actually keeping the motorway running uh, and ensuring that traffic can travel from one area to another. It's a very difficult working environment to be in alongside uh, the number of vehicles that travel through the scheme. The workforce out on site are doing a fantastic job and they really do deserve our respect for working in very difficult conditions um, round the clock to try and improve this motorway network uh, so we can improve the journey times and the overall road user experience when the scheme's complete. It's actually a collaborative joint venture uh, between five of the largest contractors in the UK. We've got Balfour Beatty, Carillion, Costain, Bam Nuttall and Morgan Sindel all working together and pooling the best resources to make sure that we can deliver this project as an exemplar scheme in terms of smart motorway construction. Thank you.